Now on World of Sport Replay, it's time to look at Greyhound Racing and first we go back to last Monday night and Olympic Park. And in the first leg of the double, the favourite Celtic Seal was in box two. Your caller is Ron Hawkswell. Ready and they're racing slow to begin. Tim Barker the inside. Final stride began quickly going up on the outside as Brabinger running into the first turn and Brabinger showing pace into the first turn. Has gone through to take the lead or one down and out strong Kelly the first turn. Running down the back and Brabinger led by two or three lengths. Final stride second now. Three lengths away to Tim Barker after a good break then came Mary Days. Wide out then came Celtic Seal Dundalk uh, Swinger and then Olympic Shroud. Final stride raced up on the outside and swept to the front near the post and final stride comes away two and a half to three lengths to Brabinger, two and a half to Tim Barker, third. In Racing. the second leg, the favourite is in box, box four. Inside. Peggy Louise began very smartly and Peggy Louise went to the front, settling down from Seacob. Heather's Apel over on the inside and trap wide, the first turn, son of Efron, and Rapid Coast went back to the tail. Peggy Louise down the back straight, led four or five length, has Heather's Apel second, and three or four lengths to Seacob third. Right out of the race, Maestro Ben propelled the outside, and then came son of Efron near the turn, Peggy Louise still about three or four lengths in front. Heather's Apel is running on strongly on the outside, but Peggy Louise in front, and She'll get there tonight. Peggy Louise by three quarters of a length. Heather's April second and propellant was third and And the Olympic Park double last Monday night for the combination of three and seven returned $28.90. Now forward to Thursday night at Sandown Park and in the first leg the odds on favourite Terramoto was in box three. Ready racing, Terry Mato slow to begin last settling down, has now gone up to be third last, the leader was Etzel's Gold, on the first turn led by a length or so to our Yvonne, three lengths to Terry Mato scooting up on the inside then Mystic Hope, about four lengths away then came Pride of Tempest, the inside, followed by Pat's Folly, second last is uh, out of the straight, top trace and a couple of lengths away to Tan Free, running to the back straight, it's Etzel's Gold, the leader a length and a half, our Yvonne, a length and a half away to the favourite Terry Mato, who's third, and poised to pounce in about three lengths away so to Mystic Hope and then came Pat's Folly off the back and here's Terry Moto now. Terry Moto moving up on the outside of Etzel's Gold and now Yvonne. It's Etzel's Gold over on the inside and Terry Moto they bump on the turn. Terry Moto took the lead. Here's Pat's Folly flying. Terry Moto the favourite has got there a half head I'd say to Pat's Folly. Third placing the Wowie. In the second leg, the favourite Tasman Echo in box four. OK on the inside. Beginning OK too as Sun Sonic and Turbo Boost went up to be third. Then Blended Red and last on the first turn and checked to the outside was Storm Dancer and Sarah Litton down the back straight. And Turbo Boost shot up on the inside to take the lead now. And Turbo Boost went about two lengths to Chariot Tainer. Third is Blended Red on the inside who was checked and then came Sun Sonic. Tasman Echo spearing through on the centre four lengths away. Sarah Litton but around the turn. It's all Turbo Boost and Turbo Boost will win by four lengths. Here's a go for the Miners. Very close between Chariot Tanner and Tasman Echo the outside. And the Sandown Park double for three and eight. This time returned $4.75. On Friday night the meeting was at Geelong and in the first leg the favourite Calarima was in box one. All boxed and they're racing slow to begin. Calarima on the inside going out quickly was to Joe to miss with Temptation Boy. They were followed by Jim Rufus getting right up on the inside and behind them in the centre was Kakari making ground. Calarima swiftly on the inside. Dropping out to the tail there to Joe to miss and company with missed the chance and Rawhide right out of the race. Now the turn Temptation Boy quickly tackled by Calarima getting up on the inside. Calarima got up on the inside and race clear near the post and Calarima two lengths to Temptation Boy and six lengths away third. Shane Alert and a photo Ready in the second leg, we're looking for Savage Toy in box five. Mulga began smartly, going quickly Wild Chrissy to be second on Timber Court, goes to third. Around the outside is Savage Toy now running on very strongly. Then uh, further back is Proven Interest, followed by Power Gel. And right out of it, Terrorizer New Stone Fly near the turn. It's Supreme Mulga about three lengths out in front of Wild Chrissy to the outside and right down the outside is Savage Toy. Timber Court on the centre, but Savage Toy at wide grab the lead. And Savage Toy has won a photo for the Miners. Supreme Mulga. Or timber court proven interest right on the hills. What a run by Savage Toy. One and five in the Geelong double returned $4.65. Now to last night's meeting at Cranburn. Equal favourites in the first leg. Chariot Full and Boss Man's Image. Boxes three and six. All set now. Ready and they're racing. Away very smartly. Boss Man's Image will go to the front on settling down. Rumpus on fire. Got up to be second. Followed by Nolly Netzel. And over on the inside is Chariot Full as they turn to the back straight. And Boss Man's Image about two lengths to Rumpus on fire. Second. Chariot Full on the inside. They race out six lengths in in front of Nolly Netzel and Double Happy running off the back. It's Boss Man's Image. Two lengths out in front. Chariot Full getting up on the inside from Rumpus on fire. Boss Man's Image the leader, but Chariot Full going after it. Chariot Full and Boss Man's Image. They hear the Chariot Full. Chariot Full got up on the inside and went a half head. Boss Man's Image. Four lengths away to Rumpus on fire. 
Equal favourites again in the second leg, Double Boost and Sister Sujo. Bunya banded on the outside, showing pace up there to a Storm Dancer. Double Boost is driving up on the inside to join Bunya Bandit. They collided and losing ground. Double Boost is second, about two behind Bunya Bandit. It's Bunya Bandit two in front, Double Boost second, three or four lengths away. Two Prince Maddox is third and then Swiss Clover, followed by Cuthbert, Sister Sujo, and right out of the race, Storm Dancer merges fly near the turn. Bunya Bandit two in front, Double Boost is going up on the inside. Bunya batted in front, double boost the inside, they hit it, split it, nothing in it. Double boost the inside, Bunya batted the outer, over the wire together. Then Prince Maddock followed by Swiss Clover. And Bunya banded on the outside, got the result, a surprise there, three and eight, and the uh, double return $9.10 at Cranbourne. Well, that was Greyhound Racing from the week, and after this break on World of Sport Replay, we go out to Mooney Valley and the Harness Racing.